G'day guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. I have a very special, special unboxing for you guys today. A couple of videos ago, I unboxed my Belgium exclusive N64 console, which to me, I think is the rarest box variant in the world. But I've had a few comments now and feedback of people suggesting I should unbox my Banjo-Kazooie console, my very, very um, rare, exciting Banjo-Kazooie console. I'm gonna give you the most in-depth unboxing I can give you about this console. I'm pretty sure I scoured YouTube just before and there's no other unboxings of this of a Banjo Kazooie console online. I've done a few videos including this console before, a very rough unboxing years ago, but there's no other unboxings to compare. So if people want to go online and check it out, I'm trying to give everyone a really in-depth unboxing of everything I know about this extremely rare, rare console. Stick around, here we go. So Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie, the beautiful masterpiece of a game here. My favorite game of all time. This was released in 1998. And now we have access to this amazing game through the Nintendo Switch expansion pack online. If you've got a Microsoft Xbox, you can play it Rare Replay. If you own the original Banjo-Kazooie car emulating, there's plenty of ways that we can get our hands on this masterpiece of a game. This console was not released when Banjo-Kazooie was released. This was released a few years later. There's no official date that I can find that, hey, the Banjo-Kazooie Special Edition Bundle console came out in this and this date. It's just doing your little bit of research. So on the back of this beautiful console here, we've got games. These are the games that if you've never owned a Nintendo 64 before and you buy one, hey, what amazing games can I play? And it gives you an example right here. Now, some of these games on the back here weren't released till the year 2000. An example right here, the Formula One World Grand Prix number two game wasn't released till the year 2000. So it shows that this console bundle didn't come out in 1998, it came out a few years later. And when we get into the year 2000 now, we're getting towards the end of the Nintendo 64 life cycle. The GameCube wasn't far away. It's been out for a few years now. And doing these special edition consoles was a way for people to buy up some hardware. But because the Nintendo 64 had been out for a while now, and the warehouses might have had lots of different N64 consoles stored away, then bundling up with a special edition gets people to potentially buy the console when a GameCube is on its way. Another perfect example, huh, pun not intended by the way, with my perfect dark console here. Off topic a little bit. It comes with a sticker, if you can see here, Jungle Green. So it comes with a Jungle Green Nintendo 64, and I don't have this console in my collection, but the Donkey Kong 64 pack that comes with the Jungle Green, um, I'll quickly grab it actually. So this one here, console right here. In the UK, it came with a plain gray console. In um, North America, it came with a Jungle Green N64. And the reason they did that, I'll put that to the side. And the reason that this come with a Jungle Green console, put that to the side, not that, not, don't knock that over, is because they had leftover stock of lots of Jungle Green consoles that weren't going in the box. So hey, what can we do with it? And the same thing happened because this is not the only special edition bundle. There's lots of different other console special edition bundles from all over the world that just has the plain gray console. I've got so many just behind me here that has lots of plain gray consoles. Let's just put that back quickly. I don't wanna knock that beautiful piece over. So this is a smart way of unloading N64 consoles. That's why it came out a few years later. Yes, it's a shame that it didn't come out with a special edition Banjo-Kazooie console. That would have been absolutely amazing, but they've just gone with the plain gray because why? I've explained that. The artwork that we can see on here is pretty cool. We've got lots of feathers on the front here. So we've got the red feathers around the outside and the orange feathers in the inside with the Banjo-Kazooie title there and Banjo choking the hell out of Kazooie there. Pretty full on picture 
And obviously the game was developed by Rare. On the side here, we've got the controllers that we can get. Gives you an example how to use it. On the back, like I showed just before, some of the awesome games that we have down the bottom here. I'm gonna take this out of the plastic sleeve soon so we can go over a bit more information here clearly without reflection, and then we'll get to the actual inboxing as well. And just on the side, a Banjo-Kazooie console. Before I do unbox it, a lot of consoles also in the UK came with a sleeve. So a plain Nintendo 64 would be underneath, and a sleeve would go around it of the special edition game. That perfect dark one I just showed you, that does have a sleeve around it, plus a few others in my collection. This one is an actual Banjo-Kazooie box console. There's no sleeve. Right, so we'll take it out of its protective case. And this is definitely, it has to be in a protective case because it's quite old and brittle. It really is. Um, the foam inside is not damaged, but it's on the brink of it could be easily damaged that when you pull it out, you could snap it off and that would be devastating. A bit of value and money gone there. No one wants a damaged foam insert inside. So we'll take that out gently, move this away. And there we are, it is exposed to the elements. Now, I wanted to show you down the bottom here uh, some information. So the information here, so the Games Limited. Now, the Games Limited in, where is it? Uh, Hampshire or Hampshire is a place in the UK and I'm not sure if this is was the main reason behind making this Banjo-Kazooie bundle that they put the idea to Nintendo and Nintendo gave their you know, quality of seal to say, yep, you guys can do it. Um, and here's the other quality of seal here that yes, Nintendo approves doing some Banjo-Kazooie bundles. Because I should have stated this earlier in the video, but this bundle here is a UK exclusive. You can't get this in Asia. You can't get this in North America. Excuse me and you can't get this in Australia. Other places in Europe, no, it was just the UK, and that Games Limited place might have been the uh, place that put the design forward and they've released this special edition group. Now, we'll unbox the console and show what it should have inside. Well, I know what it has inside, it's complete. It has everything it needs. It has the controller, it has the console, it has the car, it has the instruction manuals, and a few other things as well that I'm gonna point out now. So as we unbox it, I want to show what I mean by the foam, that it is easily could be damaged here before I pull it out. If you can see the foam here, I'll zoom in on camera, it's just on the brink of, if you pull it too hard, that could snap off. There's a tiny bit of wear here where you see it's weakening and cracking. So I've got to be really careful every time I open this, not to grab it hard out because it's getting old all these years. So I try to grab it, I'll show you what I do from underneath and slide it without pulling it. Try and pull the box the other way and pull the foam this way is the best way of what I've done. Can you imagine right now if I accidentally broke this on camera, you'd probably see a grown man cry. I would be devastated if I did that. So we'll put the box just to the side here. We might have to make some more room in a minute. Now, it does come with the instruction manual because it doesn't come with an actual game. Sorry, no, it doesn't come with a game box. So the game comes in, it's baggy, so the instruction manual has to come separate because if you're playing the game for the first time, you want to learn or know what's going on, the instruction manual's here. It is in fine, decent condition. All the pages are there, still smells pretty good. Um, no worries there. We have a poster. Now this poster is in pretty good condition, you know, showing the Game Boy. Now it's not ripped or teared, it has been looked after really well. And I'll quickly open it nicely. But this poster here shows all the different games. And again, you can tell this is from the UK because the UK POW had all that black border around its games. And we've got the Game Boy on the back as well. I'll fold it up nicely a little bit after. Next up is my safety manuals. Now my safety manuals is something that was missing from my Belgium exclusive console that I showed a couple of videos ago, but this one has it. I can easily replace these manuals to complete that at another time. Um, but it does have the manuals, which is good, which adds to completeness. Now, the game's limited. Here we are. Again, um, they might have had two locations because it's the same. This is Bristol, different from that Hampshire or Hampshire. Um, this is Bristol, so they might have had a different few companies. Also, if you're from the UK and you're watching this, is the game's limited a place? Is that still a place these days? I tried Googling before, but it didn't really give me too much information. I don't know if this company still exists 
or yeah, if you're in the comments, please let me know. I'd love to know if that's true or not. Um, and then yeah, here is your questionnaire too. So you fill in this questionnaire of things that you like, things that you want to change, um, all that sort of stuff. It's, and then you send it in and apparently once a month, they draw a random winner, a random winner from when you send this in um, and you get some new software. You get some new Nintendo software. But now that we know history, I don't know what that would have been. Um, a new controller, a new game, a new um, expansion pack on the back, a new rumble pack. I don't know exactly what they meant by a random winner every month, but we have that, which is really cool. If that was missing, you know, it's not the end of the world, but it makes this more complete and awesome. Again, we have another, this is just by, I'm not sure why that's in here, but it's a registration card from this gaming company. I don't know why that's in there, but it's in there. It's not damaged, it's not destroyed. But from my information, I don't think it should be in there, but I'm, I can't confirm or not confirm that it should or should not be in there either. And this here as well. So this service force fast track place. So this is basically saying if anything in here is damaged, if your Nintendo controller is no good, your console doesn't work, your game's not working, the power cord's stuffed, then you send in your software, you send in your hardware here, and they'll fix it, replace it, send it back. This company here is Service Force. Again, I don't know, is there a address on the back? Yes, Hampshire, Hampshire. Someone correct me for how I'm saying that. I'm saying it. I'm terrible with names, I do apologize. But is this uh, Service Force place, is this still around. Anyone from the UK verify that for me. Is this place still around? Because it shows that if something was damaged back in the day, you send it in, they fix it, send it back. Pretty cool as well that it came with this bundle and I've got that as well. Again, if this was missing, wouldn't be the end of the world, but it makes it complete and awesome. And last, we have another poster. I'll open it gently. Again, in great condition. It's been folded up and kept nicely. So we've got, again, uh, the N64 and games, and we've got some Game Boy games as well. Posters not damaged, ripped, doesn't, it's just in great condition. So it's been kept folded up and nicely. Again, we'll put that aside and I'll put this back together after. Here is the game, it has its baggy. Baggies are cool, because sometimes baggies missing inside of these can be, you know, you can't replace the baggies, official ones anyway. We have the game baggy, I'll take it out. Game's in good nick, as we can see. No damages, no textures no stickers, um, in really, really good condition. The controller is the same, the controller has the baggy, which is really good. Um, I'll take the controller out, baggies are so hard, so never throw that sort of stuff out. Um, the stick is still in great condition, really nice and firm. Again, no big damage or stickers or fading or yellow to the controller. I'll put that to the side. And it's got all my power adapters in here as well. Um, so this is like my um, AV sort of adapter um, for the old TV, you'd plug it into there. Um, because remember TVs, if you're really old, didn't have um, these AV red, yellow and blue. This is like an antenna port. So if you didn't have the red, yellow and white, not blue, red, yellow and white cords in the back of the TV, you'd plug that into your antenna to work to get a signal. Um, but if that wasn't a problem, then you'd plug uh, that in and you'd plug it into your AV. Bit confusing, bit old school. Um, this is, yeah, years and years old technology. You don't see these things around anymore, but well past that, but it's still good to have. And then we've got the power unit here. And I'll take that out. So the plug here is very different to what I'm used to because that's not Australian. Uh, that wouldn't fit in an Australian PowerPoint. So this must be a UK PowerPoint. Um, obviously it makes sense because it's for a UK console. Um, so you have that in there. No baggy for that one, unfortunately. Uh, there is a few more ba baggies in here, so this blue one, I'm pretty sure it's meant to go with this, but it's just fallen out, so that goes in there. Good to have that sort of baggy. And then again, here's your uh, aerial cable that plugs in, so the port here plugs into the back of this for your TV, for old school TV gaming. Now this is old days, you know, like we're talking 20, 30, 30 year ago technology. And we've got, uh, again, so here, again, a part of that antenna, uh, connection here as well, uh, all different attachments and stuff depending on how old or new your TV was, but still good to have all that stuff. And then the N64, and I've got this other random baggie in here as well, I'm not sure what that was for. That's probably for the AV cables as well. 
um, and I'll take that out again important to have the baggie for the console consoles in fine condition no worries or stresses there um, no big damage no scratches it's pretty dust free um, you probably can't really see in there does it have the expansion pack? No, it doesn't have the expansion pack. It's one thing it's missing, but it wouldn't have come with an expansion pack. It would have just come with that plain pink. Um, you have to buy the expansion pack separately because you don't need the expansion pack to play Banjo-Kazooie. And then as I was speaking about earlier, the foam is still here, complete in fine condition, but this part here is a little bit rough, so be really, really careful with that. Estimated to a thousand potentially of these were made. Um, I don't know how many left out there because they're so rare and the price of this is crazy. In Australian dollars right now, I have to be careful when I value things. I'm talking Australian dollars right now because the pound and the UK and the American dollar are very different to the Australian dollar. But Australian right now, you're looking over five grand easy for something like this, a decent condition one. There is one online at the moment on Australian eBay. It's much more rougher than this and that's up for $5,200. Uh, a lot of people watching and not people want to jump it. It's been up for ages, but yeah, $5,200 for a lot of rougher one. Um, I know some collectors who have chased this off me before. Um, in much better condition, very complete with all its bits and bobs. It's baggies, it's cables, it's posters, it's safety manuals, it's, uh, oh, my console's broken little card. And um, yeah, it's got everything you would want when you're buying this console. It's not mint by any means, don't be wrong. There might be a mintier one out there, I'm sure, but it's in pretty decent nick compared to some others I've seen over the years but in the comments down below let me know your thoughts on this banjo kazooie bundle um, it's one of my favorite um, i absolutely love it love the artwork i love the story behind it. i'm hoping i've been able to answer a few questions for you guys if you have any more questions about this console or any other n64s drop them in the comments down below and try to happy to answer most of them for you guys thank you very much for watching guys and until next time take care